Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today I wanted to do another unboxing of some stationary items I got from Endless Pens. And I am just really excited about this because it's not just fountain pens, yay. And I do like buying from like stationary or stores that sell more than just fountain pens because you need more than just a fountain pen to be able to journal and plan and write. So um, let's just get into this box. I will do face down, top down. Let's just do top down and get into this box. I never mentioned this before, but I do really like the paper tape that they use on the boxes now from Endless Pens. Okay, so the box is pretty wide because I decided to get these notebooks. So this is the Campus uh, A5 size notebooks. Or at least I think they're A5. They're probably a little bit lot larger. This is from Kukuyo, and they're supposed to be five. One, two, three, four, five different colors in here. So I was actually hoping to use this for journaling, not really journaling, actually note taking for work. And then also if my kids needed one as well, I can give them one of those. Next is the Midori MD Cotton Notebook, and this is blank. So the MD Notebooks are, can be quite expensive. I, the last time I found a cotton notebook in an A5 size was a few years ago, and it was awesome. Um, the cotton works with fountain pen paper, but it also works with, you know, some other mediums as well. And um, so for some reason, they've changed the sizes. So they no longer have like the A6, A5 traditional sizes. They have some, I, I, call, I call them awkward sizes now. I don't even know what to call this size, but here are the dimensions. And so, yeah, that's what I got. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, then I got the MD colored pencils. And I really wanted to try these out because I think that they would be really fun to write in, in my cotton notebook, but also in my Kikuyo notebook. And of course I couldn't, I couldn't check out without getting this. This is actually the thing that caught my eye first. And then I wanted to get some paper products. So let's zoom in a little. Okay, so this is the first time I have actually seen this fountain pen. And this is a pocket fountain pen. And it is from Fine Writing. Oh, here we go. Here is the front. Fine Writing. And my last Fine Writing, um, my latest Fine Writing fountain pen was actually really, really, uh, it wrote really, really well and it surprised me. So I figured, oh, this is interesting. Let's try this pocket pen. So it's in some very simple packaging which I'm sure many of you can appreciate. And it looks like this. So they have two colors. They have jade and they have turquoise. This is the turquoise color. And I felt like it would go with my brighter fountain pens. Wow, it does have a number six size nib. And it does feel a little light. 
it does have a screw to post in the back, but I feel like you could probably get away with not screwing it on, maybe. It's really cute. And it's actually quite comfortable, so the cap doesn't interfere with the web of your hands. And it's very lightweight, is all I have to say. It's, it's really surprised me in how lightweight it is. Oh, and it does come with a converter. So, let's see. So this is the converter. It has a little ball for agitation. But pretty straightforward. Doesn't have a huge ink capacity, but I mean, do you really need a huge ink capacity when you have a ton of inks? This question is only for those who have a ton of inks. <laughs> And I do like that little silver ring here. It just makes it look a little bit more put together. So I got a medium sized nib. It does have a little bit of, what is it? A um, feather or a quill. So let's see how this writes. I'm gonna ink it up. Yes I am, yes I am. I'm going to ink it up with my Lamy Crystal Ink Azurite. I'm just shaking it up so I can get some of that pretty, those pretty properties. And do kind of need to be careful because it has a very light section. Okay, let me wipe this off and I will set it. So I want to write in this, but I also want to write in my Kukuyo campus notebooks. This is the first time I've purchased these notebooks. I think I will go with green. Zooming out just a little bit. Another thing I want to do is I want to, I think these are all different colors. Nope, so there are really three colors. which works out pretty good. Let's sharpen these up. So my sharpener is on my little carousel here of all my inserts. And you can actually sharpen it up on two different sides. and pointy. And it stops on its own. Okay, so if you're wondering my sharpener, it is this one. I got it from Amazon and I'm going to need to empty this out pretty soon. I keep it in my office and my kids, when they are working on homework, they run up here and sharpen their pencils. So it's been pretty handy and I love it.
Hey friends, so I did film this process, but, or my uh, phone was not like recording. <laughs> so unfortunately you couldn't see me draw and color and everything, but these are some very soft leads and I find them really comfortable and easy to color with. And the colors are pretty subtle. They're not like too harsh. They kind of go together too, I think. And then I just did some samples here and drew the pen, this pen with these two colors. And yeah, I like everything. I think this works really well in the Midori cotton notebook. And then my campus was a little bit Mm, let's just say I think it's this ink uh, because there's a little bit of bleed through on the November, the first November. But then I tried it with a finer nib, <clears throat> which is my Lamy Safari, and um, it worked fine with that ink, even though they don't have the same ink, but they worked. Uh, this finer nib worked really well. This paper is super smooth and I really like it. It works well even with those colored pencils and so I swatched those out for you as well. Anyway, I'm pretty excited with this purchase. I do want to uh, try to start coloring and drawing again. Um, it's just I just don't have the time unfortunately. So that happens to be one of the reasons why I don't do that, but I need to challenge myself to make time for it because it's something I enjoy. Um, it's something I want to get better at uh, for whenever I do have even more time to um, do more of my hobbies. So anyway, I hope you guys found this video fun, informative, and interesting. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.